Hi, my name's Kim and I'm a specialized Chinese medical provider and Taoist practitioner. And this channel is all about you, sharing information and solutions from the ancient Chinese cabinet of healing remedies and helping you figure out how to use them in your everyday life. And today I thought I'd talk about histamine because it's not something that's been on my radar, but lately it appears to be taking a bigger and bigger chunk of my health. There are so many things that happen as we age. There's weight gain, there's poor sleep, poor memory, poor digestion, joint pain. And there's a lot of different reasons for each one of these. And histamine hadn't even come up on my radar because no one talks about histamine unless it's with allergies. And it was through my research on histamine and allergies that I was able to find out that histamine actually plays a pivotal role in our health and has a pivotal role in slowing down our metabolism and slowing down our immune system. I think histamine plays a role in the younger generation, but according to Chinese medicine, they just have so much more vitality that they can usually overcome excess histamine. You know, their metabolism is still working. It hasn't turned itself off, right? They could still be running, going to the gym, working out, and they're still making almost all the enzymes they need to break down histamine. And that's what vitality is. It's our body's ability to regenerate itself. And if you think about it, if you're a middle-aged adult and you get hurt today, what might have taken only a day to heal as a youth can now take you a week or longer. That's vitality. So for some people, youth does have its advantages. And for those of us traveling the highway of getting up in years, most of those advantages are gone. Let's figure out what histamine is. Histamine's a necessary compound in the body. It helps move stuff through the digestive tract. It helps relax the blood vessels to help cool off the body and move more oxygen through the body. It helps keep us awake. Who knew, right? And histamine also helps us know when we've eaten enough. And there's actual research out there that thinks histamines involved in our motivational response. Another, who knew, right? Wow, okay, let's talk about the histamine most of us are familiar with, the allergy-related histamine. Histamine due to allergies is an immune response to eliminate a toxic substance. Immune cells attack the invaders. The immune cell is called a mast cell, and what it does is it attaches to the substance that's causing the allergies. And when this mast cell attaches to that substance, it breaks up, and when it does that, it releases histamine. And histamine causes the swelling, it causes a lot of mucus, it causes sneezing, diarrhea, hives, itching, all those symptoms you get from an allergic response. Histamine does everything it usually does, just an overdrive. Histamine can be a normal response in the body or it can be an inflammation response in the body. And it was this inflammation response that got me thinking about histamine. You know, the first time I got over my allergies, I did it naturally. I took a truckload of supplements for about three years. And when everything seemed fine, I stopped taking them. My allergies stayed away for about 20 years until I went through some severe bout of long-term stress. I was overwhelmed. I got so run down that a whole lot of things started showing up again. I used Chinese medicine this time to get my allergies under control. And when my allergies were under control, I switched to vitamins and minerals and other supplements. Check out my video on how to beat allergies with five supplements. It was when I was taking those supplements that I started to notice something about histamine. I knew I had a lot of inflammation going on. I had been gaining weight like it was a new hobby. And in order to drop any weight, I had to drop my caloric intake to 900 calories. Okay, I know we eat fewer calories when we get older, but 900 calories? I was seriously starving and I wasn't super fond of three meals of celery and lettuce. It just seemed like such an overreaction to lose a little bit of weight. And I tried that keto plan of protein and no carbs. 
but it was hard on my kidneys. And everyone I know who did this plan gained all the weight right back, including myself. So sure, I could trick my body into losing the weight for a short time. And as soon as I stopped eating that way, I was going to gain all that weight right back because I was still a hot inflammation mess. And if you go back through my videos, 2019 was one heck of a healthcare year for me. And part of my problems happened earlier in the year with food sensitivities. So check out my 30 day challenge video on food sensitivities. In the video description, you'll find a link to an inexpensive test I took to get direction on what my body didn't like. You can also watch my COVID-19 video on blood types to get some information on blood types and where you can get more info on how food impacts the different blood types. And I'll put a link to this video in the description below also. What became apparent to me was that when I ate something that was a food sensitivity for me, a few things would happen. First, I would get severe abdominal bloating and I think it's more like severe swelling because my whole body would swell up. And you know that look you get when you look in the mirror and you go, oh, hey, I look poofy. That's what I would get. It wasn't just the poofy. If I had lost three pounds over the last week of severe starvation, when I ate one of these foods that caused this bloating swelling thing, I would immediately gain back all the weight. And people would say it was water weight and your body could fluctuate by even more than that. It wasn't water weight because it wouldn't go away. And I had to start from square one again. It was like trying to drag a boulder up a ravine and the weight of that rock always went out. It was exhausting. And I found myself at the bottom of that ravine again and again and weighing more. And if this water weight thing of theirs was a thing, then amazing. I did not know the human body could pack on 40 pounds of water weight in four to six months. And apparently science doesn't either. Science thinks you can store one to five pounds of extra water weight. I guess I'm an overachiever, right? Okay, so the water weight thing wasn't working for me. I had just gone through a full Western medical workup and I had no organ failures, I had no cancers, I had no other diseases. But my whole immune system just seemed out of balance. It was overreacting to everything from food to outdoor allergens and it appeared that every one of these reactions was a histamine reaction. I know this isn't gonna be news for anybody, but lifestyle matters. Gaining weight, poor memory, poor sleep is not a natural part of aging because if it was, everybody would do it. And that's not what happens. I have clients who are 60 to 70 years old and they're still jogging. And then I have clients who are 60 to 70 years old and they can't walk. In Chinese medicine, our health as we age talks to longevity and longevity is a life of health and vigor until we finally pass. The better our longevity, the better our health in old age, and we completely control longevity through our life choices. And that is why lifestyle matters. Things like food sensitivity, allergies, alcohol, stress, anxiety, and lack of sleep all impact longevity. They either use up resources in the body or eliminate our ability to repair our bodies. We know as we age, our metabolism slows down. And I say metabolism because I mean all of the cellular uh, functions that we need to rebuild and regenerate our body. And we know that our ability to heal slows down as we age. You know, a couple of years ago, I was jumping my horse and I took a fall and I just slammed into the ground. No bounce, no elasticity. And it took me a couple weeks to recover from that fall. It wasn't like it was when I was young where it just took a couple days. And you know, then later on, I was watching the Kentucky Rolex where it's an event jumping where they have, you know, the logs and that that don't give when the horse jumps them and hits them. And I was watching that and one of the riders, her horse front feet clipped the jump and they both flipped over. And you know, I was watching that and I was like, huh, I don't need this anymore. And I immediately switched from eventing to stadium jumping where the jumps give when the horse hits them. 
we become conscious of our mortality because we just don't have any options. But here's the thing about histamine. When in moderation, it is positive in the body, but when too much, it has the totally opposite impact. Have you ever noticed that older adults can't sleep at all and they eat the absolute worst foods? My husband and I were in a retirement community restaurant eating a simple lunch of salad and a hamburger. And the retirees next to us were eating chicken fried steak the size of a football, hash browns, gravy, and a drink, or they had a three egg omelet with bacon and hash browns. And my husband and I were like, you know, if we ate that, we would be on our backs, lying down in excruciating pain for the rest of the day. Okay, so food sensitivities are a big player in the histamine party. And I want you to watch my video on food sensitivities to get a better understanding on how to identify them and what they do. What is one of the things that histamine does? It keeps us awake. And a little seems to keep us awake and a lot seems to give us insomnia. So when I started managing my histamine levels, my sleeping improved. And when I took my histamine levels down, I slept more, which is a good thing because I was only sleeping four hours at night. And one of my friends found me on Facebook at three in the morning and asked if I ever slept. And I was like, no, but I do now. The next thing is the insane bloating starts to mellow out. And this is important because at any age where you run into this thing where you can't lose any weight, think about inflammation and histamine. If exercise doesn't work and dieting doesn't work, think about histamine. I've seen people say this type of weight is hormone related. My hormones are fine. And I don't think it's hormone related. I think it's histamine related. And histamine is an inflammation response, a swelling. So when you start to see that poofy look throughout your body, I think that's a histamine response related to the foods we're eating. Here's the thing. How could you not be sensitive to the foods that we're eating? I keep on meaning to do a vlog on five things that you might not know that's happening in our food supply chain. I just haven't had time to do that yet. When I look at what's happened to our food supply chain over the last 30 years, how we produce, process, and package food has really changed. And our digestion probably wasn't built to digest some of the things that we're putting into our food supply chain. Possibly our digestion never was able to process some of the stuff that we're putting in there. Yet, when you were younger, your body had a much stronger ability to eliminate toxins. As we get older, that ability slows down. And let's say these toxins get stuck on the slow train in our body and we have to work extra hard to eliminate them. And the harder we work to eliminate them, the more histamine we're gonna release into the body and the more histamine release in the body, the more swelling and inflammation we get and the more it appears we've gained weight. So, But this weight doesn't respond to caloric intake or exercise. And if it's due to inflammation and swelling, of course it's not gonna re respond to caloric intake and exercise. What it's gonna respond to is a reduction in histamine. And there's a couple ways you can do that. Now here's the thing. The last time I had allergies was about 20 years ago. And I got over my allergies with supplements, but it took me three years and I did not lose a pound until year number three. And then suddenly my body just turned on and started working again. And I quickly lost all the weight and got back to a normal weight for me. At that time, I wasn't aware of this food sensitivity thing or a histamine reaction. And so why I think it took so long was because I was still consuming all these foods that my body thought was toxic and I was consuming them on a daily basis. So I was still creating all this inflammation on a daily basis. Okay, so what do you guys think about that? Kind of interesting, huh? So if you're gonna try this, you know, get the supplements, get that food sensitivity test and use those two things to manage what we're gonna call the poofies and see how you do. Leave a comment and tell, 
tell us how you're doing with it. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.